Grok for versus ChatGPT honest review. Which AI language model is better? Welcome to this deep dive comparison between two of the most talked about AI language models right now, Grok for and ChatGPT. Now, if you have been exploring AI tools in 2025, you've likely come across both of these names. But when it comes to real world use, daily performance, creativity, responsiveness, and practical output, which one of these tools is truly better? So in this video, we're doing a detailed, honest review of Grok4 versus ChatGPT based on weeks of testing, side-by-side -side comparisons, and actual scenarios where both models were used. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of their core differences, unique strengths, and which one fits your needs better. Whether you're going to be a content creator, coder, researcher, student, or business professional looking to scale your productivity using AI. Now, let's start with the basics of who makes these models. ChatGPT is developed by OpenAI and has been a household name since late 2022. It's currently available in multiple versions. So firstly, there's the free version, but you can upgrade the plan to Plus and Pro. Okay, and these obviously include GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. And the latest update being GPT 4.0, which introduced a faster multi-model experience capable of understanding text, images, voice, and more in real time. On the other hand, if we go over to Grok, Grok 4 is the, you could say, developed XAI latest version by Elon Musk, okay? It's deeply integrated into X, which is formerly known as Twitter. Grok 4 is the latest iteration as of 2025 and has made significant waves because of its edgy, personality-driven responses and seamless access to real-time data through X's ecosystem. Now, while both models are built on transformer architectures and are designed for natural language understanding and generation, their approach to interaction is slightly different. And that difference is what we're going to be talking about. So talking about performance, ChatGPT is currently optimized for speed and coherence. It handles complex queries like coding, logic puzzles, academic writing, and long-form generation with grace and reliability. Now, whether you're asking it to write a business proposal, generate Python code, or explain quantum mechanics to a fifth grader, ChatGPT developers with a tone that is clean, understandable, and polished. So let's go and try that. So I'm going to write explain quantum mechanics to a fifth grader. Okay, so I'm going to write in something like that. And as you can see, it goes on ahead and lets you know. So quantum mechanics is the rule book scientists use to understand how these tiny particles move, interact, etc. So as you can see, the response was pretty fast and the information is pretty cool as well. So it's pretty nice. That's pretty cool to have something like that. Grok4, in contrast, feels more spontaneous. It excels in conversations where creativity and humor are appreciated. It doesn't really shy away from memes and sarcasm or injecting personal flair into its answers. So let's say I'm going to do the same thing for Grok. I'm going to paste it here and let's see what kind of response we get from Grok. So there you can see Grok says quantum is super cool, weird way to understand how tiny things like atoms, etc. work. It's more descriptive based. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is more, you know, point based. So both in this case are pretty cool. It does give quirky responses with a quirky co-pilot rather than a strict teacher version of it. Now, in terms of real-time awareness, Grok wins a significant point in this because it's integrated directly into X's data stream. Grok has access to live posts, current events, and trending news. So let's say I'm going to write in um, where was the most recent. Let's go with earthquake. Now, we write that in because obviously a lot of people go over to Twitter and write where the earthquake has happened, how much uh, of a scale was it on. And as you can see, the most recent earthquake occurred approximately 23 minutes ago with its epicenter located at these coordinates near the geyser, California, United States. So obviously it got this data off of Twitter. Now, if I ask GPT something like this, in some cases, it might actually give you the answer. But in some cases, it might not be able to because GPT also goes ahead and scours the web and uh, obviously gives you the most recent update. But as you can see, it doesn't give you 
it gives us New Zealand, Turkey, and South Australia, not what this gave. So obviously there are differences in answers. Now, ChatGPT will obviously give you lesser insights than Grok on real-time awareness, depending on the plan. And ChatGPT, however, still maintains a structured approach to knowledge integration, focusing more on verified curated information, whereas Grok will pull it off of Twitter. Now, this makes it better suited for educational, historical, and analytical content that requires accuracy over virality. Now, when it comes to user interface and ecosystem, ChatGPT is going to be available across device via its web app and mobile app. And it's also integrated into Microsoft products like Word, Excel, and even Bing. It even allows plugins and custom GPTs to be created, which enables creators and developers to build specific tools for niche use cases. Now, Grok, on the other hand, is going to fit naturally inside the X platform. So if you're someone who already spends a lot of time on Twitter, Grok will come nicely in your workflow. You can call it up in threads, DMs, and even use it to summarize replies, generate viral posts, or research trends in real time. But if you're not an active user of X, Grok's integration might feel a little limiting for you. Now let's also get into coding and developer use. ChatGPT clearly leads in structured programming help. It explains concepts cleanly, debugs well, etc. So let's say you can ask GPT to write me a website code for a clothing store. Okay, so we're going to write in something like that. And we're going to let ChatGPT do its thing. So obviously what it's going to do is it's going to write the code carefully on each side. And obviously if we come over here to Grok and we add the same thing over here, let's see what kind of explanation do we get. So obviously it uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the good thing about Grok is it will give you a preview of your code as well. That's what ChatGPT won't do. ChatGPT won't really give you a preview. It will allow you to run your code on Canvas, but it won't give you a clear on preview. But the coding mechanism of GPT will be much faster, much stronger, and much better. So as for accuracy, both models are improving fast, but GPT still tends to be more consistent when it comes to factual accuracy, especially in math, science, and structured data handling. Grok's strength lies in its conversational ability. So as you can see, Grok is very good when it's conversating and, you know, it works pretty well. So to wrap up here, the honest truth is there is no single battle model for everyone. Grok 4 and GPT serve different kinds of users. If you want speed, versatility, structure, access to plugins, file handling, memory, and deep technical answers, then GPT is the one for you. So if you want an AI that feels more human, speaks like a trend savvy friend and integrates deeply into a real time social platform. Grok4 is the one for you. So if you found this review helpful, make sure to subscribe for more honest breakdowns of the latest AI tools and tech platforms. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Grok and ChatGPT and let me know which one you're using in your daily workflow. So thank you for watching this video all the way till the end and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.